The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out with the German DAX and FTSE like we usually do. And as you can see coming in this morning, um, the day after our holiday, there was a considerable selling coming into both the DAX and the uh, FTSE. Now, you don't know whether that's going to carry through or not because they're, they're different markets. But, you know, a lot of these things were acting the same way. So it's uh, pretty important that you pay attention to what other markets are doing. One of the markets that we follow quite a bit because of our association and relatives that we have over in Hong Kong is the um, – Foot. <laughs> Let's try it again, Larry. The Hang Seng Index. And as you can see here, you know, back there in February, we made a 78% retracement. We came down and we've been we've going a whole year now, folks, where we've only been able to make a 50% retracement. And as you can see, the big down week that we had last week, followed by the very, very quiet week. And then it's down again. Today, we broke below 28,000. Today, I don't know where it's trading right now, but this could be a, a very, very uh, negative uh, for the Asian markets now. This has not made new highs, as you can see, but it's still a very important because of the fact that they have the uh, uh, IPOs and stuff that are all so technical-oriented. Uh, now, uh, one of the things that I came hope happened to me last week, as you remember, I had a little bit of a little bit. That was the understatement of the year of a, a problems with the technical part of my computer. And I was trying to get that report out in grains, and I certainly did. I want to show you a picture of what it looks like in uh, part of the corn growing belt here. You'll see here we are on the 4th of July with corn as, hella, as high as an elephant's eye. Well, one of the reports that I sent out, well, it was the one report that I covered all the old crop, all the new crop, grains from corn, everything except oats and some of that other crazy stuff that doesn't count. But wheat, corn, beans, oil, meal, all that. And folks, I had uh, concluded that every one of these charts was bearish. I said, I don't know what's going to happen coming in here this first of the week, but this is really, really bearish stuff. And I said, I, you know, I, I, I don't, I know a tiny, 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 tiny bit about fundamentals and it doesn't affect what I do. I just look at the charts. Well, on Friday morning, when I was finishing up the show, I get a phone call from a gentleman in Iowa, and he is a very, very large farmer. I mean, he had lots of acres, and uh, he was very heavily loaded up on the long side of everything. Not only hadn't had he hedged his crop, but he, he was net long the futures. And I, I told him, I said, boy, I said, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I said, I know you're well off financially, and you don't need the money or anything, but you could take a horrendous loss here. If these markets turn down badly, and I said, looking at these charts, they look really badly. I mean, I, they really did. I mean, they just said lower highs. I mean, even with really bullish numbers that we had last week, if you remember how crazy it was. Well, that craziness has come to play here this morning. Well, anyway, I chatted with this guy, and then about 20 minutes before the close, he called me up and he said, well, I still haven't done anything yet. I said, it's your money. It's not mine. I said, yeah, I'm just giving you my opinion. You know, sometimes I'm right. Sometimes I'm wrong. But I'm seeing negative negative patterns in every, th every single thing that I see that's growing out there. I said, that's all I can tell you. No more than that. And so he said, okay. So right before the close, he calls me back and he said, well, I hedged up everything uh, that I have. Um, through options. And he said, frankly, he said, I don't believe in technical analysis. And he said, I'm probably never going to speak to you again. And I told him, I said, you know what? I said, that's not going to affect my life one bit. And it's not going to affect yours either. Well, anyway, with the market down sharply today, with uh, the stuff down a dollar in the new, new crop soybeans, you know, he called me up and uh, he he, uh, he said, well, you got that one right. I said, yeah, that was the first one in 10. I forgot to tell you that. Anyway, he was not a very happy – even he was not a very happy man, even though he saved I don't know how much money, but he had thousands – well, never. it don't make any difference. This really doesn't make any difference. Okay, here is something that someone asked me about over the weekend, and that is Elliott Wave. 
I wanted to bring this up to you to explain to you the difference the way I look at things versus the way that Elliott Wave. You'll look at Elliott Wave. They, they call the zigzag the ABCD pattern, okay? Well, I learned from the Gartley book, which was AB equals CD. You can see on the right side there, you see an ABC, but what, what, what is the one on the bottom? Do they give it a name or is that just a fictitious number? I, I never could figure that out. I mean, I had some of the best Elliott guys in the whole world come to my house there in Pismo Beach, and they would sit there and argue about it. <clears throat> and uh, I, I, I just think it's very simple to do it. And if we go to the master himself, Mr. Benoit Mandelbrot, who was a man who developed fractals, and that's nothing more than what that lightning bolt pattern is, you can see it right there. There's A, B equals C, D. That's what that lightning bolt happens to be. Now, when Prechter was first writing his letter back in the mid-70s, uh, I, I, you know, I was at Drexel. I didn't do a lot because it was 20 when I were real busy making money trading gold and silver on the long side. But uh, later on, uh, when I moved up to Pismo Beach, I met Bryce Gilmore. And Bryce taught me about the square roots of numbers, and I was so infatuated with 786 that I sent on the old thermal facts, I sent it back to, to uh, Georgia to have him take a look at it because I showed him about six examples of 786, and I got a little curt message back that 786 is not a Fibonacci number. Well, okay, well, that was something new I had to learn, learn later on. But anyway, looking at that ABCD pattern that we just looked at, last night in the middle of the night, this happened about, oh, 3 o'clock in the morning, Tucson time a little bit before that i prepared the folks for what i thought was going to be a very nice a b equals cd pattern it was the price of crude oil and it was in the news everywhere cool crude oil making six-year highs folks we've been preparing for this for, for well over two and a half weeks to see it get up there and that's what it's happened it went from 77 even our sell signal, you can see, came in at 76.70. We risked 40 cents, which was, uh, you know, 400 dollars. It's made 3,500 today, but that, you know, that doesn't mean anything. It could maybe go back and make new highs, but we've locked in a little bit on that. But that's nothing more than the ABCD pattern, folks. It's not, you don't have to count waves and all that. Well, I shouldn't say that because a lot of you guys do and do great at it, but I don't. I, I just look at the time. Look at the time between the 17th and the 27th and the 29th and 9th. I mean, that equals time, time and price were equal. Not only that, but you got the whole financial press with all their fake news telling you how wonderful it is the fact that we've made wonderful new highs now in the uh, in the crude oil market folks i think this is a major high in the crude oil market because look how much it's bro it's broken over three thousand dollars in the midst of some really bullish stuff again just like the soybeans did soybeans had some of the most bullish stuff you'd ever want to see and they're down a dollar today you know so that's uh that's pretty much uh, what you're doing. Yeah, Prechter did work for Bob Farrell, but so did Arch Crawford. That was before Prechter because Arch is, is my age, and so he's uh, he's in that very, very same plot. Well, anyway, what I wanted to bring to your attention is the fact that when you do these ABCD patterns, you've got to keep it as simple as possible. This is not rocket science, boys and girls. If you remember last Friday, we were talking about this, and I said pay attention to this big ABCD that's happening in the old uh, – S&P 500 at 4346 but that was wrong because the high was 4348 I missed that one son of a gun 877-927-6648 Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a tweet from uh, Ryan Dietrich. This came from one of our listeners here. Uh, I don't uh, do anything with the certified market technicians, folks, uh, but I do watch what they do. Uh, many, many years ago, they wanted me to take the test, and I said, you know, I, I, t I take the test in the School of Hard Knocks. I said, I really don't care whether I'm registered or not. And they said, well, you're afraid you're going to flunk the test? I said, well, I probably will flunk the test. But, you know, on the school on the school of hard knocks, I'm passing the test, and that's what counts for me. And I was giving a lecture in New York, and Jim Bartolioni was my guest that day. He was making a presentation on the British pound. And uh, so we finished it up, and uh, the guy was still bugging the heck out of me about wanting to do this. And, hey, I'll tell you what I'll do. I said, you pick your best technician, and I'll pick myself. And I said, well, day trade for a day. And I said, winner take all. We'll put up 10000 bucks." All profits go to the other person. I'll, I'll give mine to charity. And I said, uh, let's see what happens. And, of course, uh, they didn't want to do that, which I was glad because I probably would have lost my tail. Anyway, let's take a look at what they're talking about. The S&P 500 is up 5% for five consecutive quarters, only for the second time in history. So my second question was, okay, when was the other time? It was 1953 to 1954. That led me to start looking at what happened in 1953 and 1954. And it was very, very significant, folks. In 1954 was the time when we first took out the highs from October, excuse me, September the 3rd of the year 1929. It took that many years for it to go over that, to get over that period. So it was very, very important. That was a major, major breakout. And it continued. Now, tomorrow, uh, excuse me, on Thursday, we have a very, very important date. We call this the Basil Chapman date of the year because he's re he's corrected me every year for 14 years as I've been on TFNN. I always thought the bottom was July the 5th, 1929, and Byron uh, and Basil has corrected me that it was July the um, the eighth. I think it was 40 under just under 41 was the uh, price of the Dow. And believe me, folks, of all those Dow stocks, all of them are gone. Uh, General Electric was the last one, so that's it. So what I did, I said, okay, this makes it interesting. Now, let's go back and look at all the – go take 100 years. Since it was raining like heck here over the weekend because of the monsoons, I didn't go anywhere. So I had plenty of time, and I do like to do this kind of stuff. So I went back over 100 years, and I looked at all the major tops and all the major bottoms to see if they had a characteristic in common. 
And voila, they do. There are two characteristics in common, fear and greed. And I'm going to share these with the folks that attend my uh, money-making seminar that we're going to do on July 28th. That happens to be Ralph Elliott's birthday. It's also my birthday. And we're going to be doing a full-day trading session, five hours, uh, where we're going to make some money. And I'm going to share with you uh, what these characteristics are. I don't know if this is the top in the market, folks. I don't want to be be known as uh, someone who called the top in the market. It don't make diddly squat. Nowhere on your equity run does it tell you that you have to uh, – you know, be uh, uh, a top picker or anything like that. It's not really necessary. Now, we do have one market in the world today that is under extreme pressure. We should be watching. I've never seen a chart on it, but it was posted on Bloomberg this morning by Matt Miller, and that is that the Vietnamese stock market is down three standard deviations, folks. If you go below three standard deviations, you're in crash mode. They're melting down really badly. So I wanted to see how the the market holds up there in Vietnam for tomorrow, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, that could never happen here because we have the, the Federal Reserve. But, folks, remember in 2008, the market went from uh, uh, 2000, uh, dropped 85 percent. Where was the Federal Reserve then? Okay, well, in, 2000, in 2000, when we had the dot-com bubble, the market dropped 85 percent. Where was the Federal Reserve then? You know what we have, though, folks? We have an ace in the hold. And our ace is none other than Mr. Shane Smolian, who watches the Fed like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle watches uh, Sherlock Holmes. So we're going to be having Shane on the board watching us what this is doing with the, with the Fed. Because if he comes out and tells us the Fed has changed their program that they're looking at, then I think it's important that uh, we pay attention to that. But uh, all we've had so far today from that ABCD that we had up there at uh, 43, uh, 46 in the S&P is we've dropped to 30 some handles, which is no big deal. Now, the Dow Jones has dropped quite a bit. It was down 400 and change a little while ago. And the Russell, which has been the weakest, has certainly uh, broken the most. And that's what we've always tried to say. If you're going to sell one, you know, sell the weakest. And you can see here we make it lower tops in the Russell, you know, all last week. So that's important. There was one other pattern that was really interesting today that we've had in the newsletter. And that is the one in the New York Stock Exchange Index. This is one of the favorite patterns that Dr. Andrew Lowe has his book, the Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. You can see here we have a perfect head and shoulders pattern, the right shoulder slightly lower than the left shoulder. The distance between the shoulder and the head is perfect, and that lines up for a perfect ABCD pattern. So any taking out of the high that we made on Friday would be looking at it. Someone uh, is asking, take a look at the COVID case chart in Vietnam. I don't have time to look at that, Bo, but thank you very much. Uh, that's probably, uh, that, Bo, that's, it, you know, Bo, the reason why I'm a technician is I, I, I don't look at that stuff. I hear it from people. But, you know, it goes in one ear, out the other, and it's a good thing because there's a lot of vacuuming between that left ear and the right ear. So the less information rattling around in the old gray matter for me is actually – it's actually a uh, – it's it's something – it's important. And, and, and <laughs> oh, I could tell you another story over the weekend, but that's just going to waste everybody's time. And I don't want to waste anybody's time here because we're at critical levels in these markets and we could see some pretty significant things happening here. What we need to be watching, folks, is first of all, let me let me try to explain something. When you were coming in, when you were coming in today into these markets, you were looking at markets that were prepared to have reversals. The, the crude oil, the heating oil, the uh, natural gas, natural gas, just, just to give you an example of natural gas. We talked about natural gas last week. Now, I want to show you this. Take if you just to, there's natural gas. You see that high there? We were looking for it to get to 380 and change. It got to 383 last night. It made a three drive to a top pattern last night about oh, 1 o'clock in the morning New York time. And it dropped 22 cents today. Now, when that's happening, and then you've got this giant ABCD happening in the crude oil, and crude oil and natural gas are just related to energies. But look at that. Look, oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. I hit the wrong button on that one, didn't I? Yeah, I hit the I'm sorry, Al. I'm going to get in big trouble on that one, but there's nothing else I can do about it. Doggone it. Hold on. Get this up here. Oh, let me get up here. 
I hate to do that. That's a, I hate this technical stuff as much as anything. All right. Thank you. Okay. This is anyway. There's there's what we were looking at. We had a beautiful pattern there. Uh, it matched up pretty good. The good part was at 76.70, the high being 77, your risk was only 40 cents. You know, 400 bucks, and you know that that paid that paid big time today. That they don't always happen like that, but today was a was a good payday payday in the S and P and in the uh, the gold and the crude oil and the natural gas and the heating oil and one other one. Uh, what was it? Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Oh man, what have I got to do? Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted a chart from uh, one of our friends across the pond. Um, the gentleman is he's young. He's, uh, uh, he's a, he's a uh, skilled worker. And uh, I believe he's a carpenter. He doesn't have a college education, but he's been trying to trade for quite some time. But the problem is he doesn't read English very well, but he understands patterns. And uh, over the last uh, couple of months, he's really learned to pick up the patterns. And I just wanted to send you one. This happens to be one on the Dow Jones, just a one-minute chart. 
but these patterns work on any time frame as you possibly know. So the reasoning for me telling you this is you do not have to be a, a registered rocket physicist to do this stuff. You need the calculator, you need a, a straight edge that you can draw a line, and then you also need a pencil to draw that line, and that's pretty much it. Later on, you'll be able to put the ratios and stuff in, and it gives you a better idea of uh, what we're looking at. So I think it's important that uh, we make uh, very important uh, characteristics of that. Remember, we had the uh, Larry Williams, remember, was on uh, to, uh, last week, and he was very bullish, the gold. He went. He said he was looking for it to get above 1800 It went to 1815 today. He was extremely bullish. The Treasury bonds, they've gone up two full handles since that time. So we want to thank Larry for, you know, sharing the information that uh, – that he's shared with us during that time. We'll have him on again, hopefully, uh, pretty soon. Now, I want to show you one that I think is pretty important. Now, this is a, a weekly chart. Let's get this up here. I'm gonna. This you're gonna have to do a little bit of homework yourself here. But this is the weekly uh, E-mini uh, Nasdaq, and as you can see here, we have a uh, three drive to a top pattern on the weekly. Uh, that's right near the 14,800 level where that measures to. Uh, but if you also did the daily NASDAQ, you'll also see that you also have a three drive on the daily too. Now, whether this is a big cycle or not, I don't know. But it could be one of the characteristics. It could be making the market move around. So we'll see. Okay, now, uh, one of the other questions that someone asked me is about the uh, – the grain markets, uh, do, do I think the top is in in the grain markets? Folks, I don't know. We're just in the middle of the growing season, July the 6th. So a lot of things can happen. What we are seeing, though, is this incredible volatility that we've been uh, preaching on uh, for quite some time here. We're going to continue this in just about everything for quite a while. And I think there's going to be a lot of lessons to be learned. Part of, part of them will be learned by me. Part of them will be learned by you. But uh, the, tri the trouble is, remember, the first mistake teaches – the second mistake kills. You don't want to get involved with that second mistake. That's the one that really uh, gets you. Now, all the things in the news that are happening in the news today are related to the big boys. Here we are. We're going to take a look at this. this is the weekly chart here of Microsoft. I want to bring these up here. And these are weeklies, folks. Whether they mean anything, we'll be able to see here. But uh, 277, I know we hit uh, – I think we hit close to 280, 279 or something in Microsoft today. Uh, you'll notice that we had, well, the one that's which lagging, of course, is Tesla. And that is the one that, that, should be, that should be lagging. We'll get it up here to let you take a look at it here. And, yeah, the bond yields are dropping. We're, we're back up into that area where the Fed's out there, you know, moving that yield curve around. And that's what that's all about. And then we'll take a look at uh, – Amazon, here's another one. I believe Amazon, I believe, is in new high ground today, folks. And I uh, will get that up here to look at it. But that could be a massive triple top up there above that 35, uh, 60 level. I, I believe that that, that uh, they are in a major thing. So uh, you're still seeing the footsie. I've been posting. I've been posting charts for 20 minutes. How could you? How could you not see the charts? You haven't seen any of the charts that I posted. Shut the front door. Oh, I love technical stuff. Technical stuff I really like. Uh, oh, somebody's seeing them all anyway. Okay, Al, I think you'd better take another another uh, another vacation, Bubba. <laughs> it's okay. We love Al. Al, you stay with us, buddy. You're the best. Anyway, that's it. I thought I had to panic, put the panic button on a little bit. But all of these stocks, remember in the NASDAQ, folks, when you're looking at that NASDAQ, you're looking at about 20 stocks. You know, that's really what you're looking at there. there you know, we look at the price of them. You don't have to be a rocket science to figure that out. But, you know, you look at the overall broad market, like I posted with the New York Stock Exchange and uh, some of these others. It, I don't want to give the keys to the kingdom away because there are no keys. There's a few uh, locks and nuts and bolts. And, but, you know, that, that, that market can't even take out the high of June 1st, and it's making a head and shoulders pattern. Who knows? Okay. All right. That's what we're watching here right now. So we'll keep a close eye uh, on that also. All right. Now, getting back to the gold market. Today's very, very important action in the gold market, boys and girls. Very important. Hold on a second here. I want to get it up here so we can... Let our folks know where we are. Oh, please, don't tell me you did this again. Oh. 
we're going to have a great buying opportunity in these grains in a couple of days, folks. So stay tuned because that's going to be a really beauty when these things finally catch these uh, hedge fund boys uh, d dancing the opposite way. It's going to be uh, really interesting. Okay, here's where we are here. Ah, oh, that's not the one I wanted. Give me a second here. Dog got it. There's where we are. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here's the one I wanted to tell you. This is the one we were looking at for today. For today. Look at that. You see there the 382 retracement on that last rally came in at 1810. The high was 1815. We're now trading below 1800. Now, uh, this is very important, folks, because that's a five day rally. Goes back over the last uh, week or so. And it's right at the 382, just a tiny bit above it. It didn't spend very much time above 1810. So it's important to remind ourselves of that. But we got to get ready for whatever that next leg. <laughs> You're still showing the New York Stock Exchange chart? A little push it up again. Oh, boy. I, all of my frustrations in this business, I'll wait to see that that chart pops up here, come from the technical analysis about it. Okay, there's what we got going down here. Okay. Now the gold chart is there. Let's go over it again. From that last high we made, uh, you'll see that broke down. The 61% retracement came in at 18, 1810. So that's it. Uh, Peak has asked me, where is the 30-year Treasury headed? It's going to go just above, just above the old previous high at 160. 63 or 160 I think it's going to 165 uh, Terry is what my uh, what I what I think it's going to do you know that's it now the computers never made me millions bill I can promise you that on my mother's grave the computers never made me millions you know what made me millions I'm going to show you what made me millions buddy you know, you might think it's silly but baby this is it this is all you got to need to know is old Mark God bless him. Mark Douglas sitting right next to me here this morning. He says, AB equals CD. That's all you need to see. AB equals CD. And uh, that's all it was. Anyway, that's uh, Marshall nailed it. You got it, Marshall. All these times we've met up here in the office has paid off. But it's really, it's not, you don't have to, <laughs> the ponies. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I've had some big winners at the track, and I, I'm way ahead. I'm way ahead in my uh, in my my horse racing, and in fact, almost all the. I don't do a lot of gambling. I'm you know, I'm a fair poker player, but I don't. I'm smart enough to not play with better players than me. If I'm at a table where people are better than me, I get out of there. And it doesn't take very long to see who you're playing against. You want to play against weaker competition, like this mountain lion we had in the neighborhood. We have three dogs missing in the neighborhood, and it's because of that mountain lion. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday 
with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, we're now down 40 handles in the S&P from the high. That signifies that this is uh, at least a minor correction. Whether it's a really big one or not, I don't know. The key one, of course, is the crude oil being down more than uh, uh, it's about $3,600 uh, per contract. That really tells you that uh, something's happened in the crude oil market. They've changed the names of the players. We've seen this happen over and over again. And one of the reasons we were watching it so closely was the fact that you know we were looking at a market that had a you know potential to make a three drive pattern let's get this up here just like we had way back in September of uh, 2018 now you had to go down to your your intraday chart like we did uh, today uh, to see that big ABCD three drive that was happening there at 177 uh, even and look how close it was to that old high the old high was 177.32 so that was basically a double top with a big ABCD that's what gave you the possibility you didn't know whether it's going to win or not but it put the odds in your favor I mean it's like it's like betting on secretariat at 20 to 1 that that's what you're looking for you're not looking for a horse that's one to five that you don't know anything about you want to find something that you got the odds in your favor and that's what you're that's what you're trying to do and that's what we try to do here you know when we're working with the 24 7 people and uh it doesn't always work the way we want it to but we'll we'll see what happens uh, down in the future tonight i'll be focusing a great deal on the grain markets i'm going to uh by tomorrow let me see i've got my computer up and i'm still on the old one because it's running better than it ever has before god bless it and i'm going to keep it until it has its dying breath but i'm going to get out a special today uh, tonight, hopefully, and uh, we're going to be watching these grains very closely. They're not going to bottom in one day, but uh, they they could be reaching some very good support here, folks. This is just rain-related people that are disappointed that it's not a drought year, and we've had lots of hot weather, but we've had a you know a greenhouse effect where you know there's been <laughs> they're growing pretty fast. So, but we're only halfway through the growing season. We've got a long way to go before we finish it if if you had to you had to ask me one question today what's the most important chart that uh, i posted on the ones today it's this one right here uh, i know you probably think i'm nuts but uh, this this is uh, this is the big one folks this is the big daddy rabbit you better pay close attention to that because uh, a lot of people follow that puppy and if it should go down and if it should go down you better be careful because it's going to affect a whole lot of other things too. Because you know they got a lot of Robin Hood folks and Fire Tucks and you know Little John and all these other guys out there doing this stuff too. And things do change, and they jump around quite a bit. But we've uh, had our we've corrected our overbought situation in the S and P in a matter of 12 hours. But now we're going to find out, you know, what the next step is going to be uh, with that as we as we go through looking at it. Uh, when I was doing the rework, when I was doing the work on the going over those hundred years, 
I, I really had some incredible revelations of what the markets really do. I mean, it's just really, really incredible. And I, I wanted to share one with you here because it was, uh, I'll just give you a heads up on this because it was very similar to the uh, one we were seeing. Hold on just a second. Seeing in the Jap in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Hang Seng, but this is the, uh, this is the Nikkei Dow going back to uh, December 29th, uh, 1999, 80, excuse me, 1989. Uh, I was going to California to give a little talk. But here's where we are now. Uh, we've made a 61% retracement of that. But more importantly, folks, look at the three drive pattern that has formed the 61% retracement here in the Nikkei. Now, uh, this is just making a 61% retracement back over the last, uh, <laughs> I believe it, 35 years. So you've got to uh, pay attention to that one, see uh, whether, I don't know stimulus from whatever the other stuff is, folks. I'm a technician, and that's all I try to do one thing at a time. I don't try to make any qualms about it, but uh, there's certain characteristics that these markets uh, came. Basil Chapman does a great job of explaining that. In his way of analysis also, that's why I always enjoy listening to him, uh, the way he breaks things down. It makes it a lot easier than the old Elliott wave where you try to count those many tiny waves. It's just a little too, too, too difficult for this old cowboy. All right. The next question that someone asked me was about the German DAX. Uh, folks, uh, I, and that's because of Tommy Terrific. You know, he's been very bullish this. All the DAX is doing is getting hit pretty hard today with the rest of the markets because they do dance to the same cycles. And you'll notice here that uh, the next uh, level of support down here is around 15,400. That's down uh, another uh, 130 points in the DAX. So we get that. We take out those lows by any chance. That's it. That's right, Mr. Z. I tried to be like old Jack Palance in Old City Slickers. This one thing, this one. You know, every time I watch that movie, I even think of that guy's name. He used to come into the Drexel office. God, what a nice guy. And he was so pleasant to everyone. But he could do, he was in his 60s then, and he could do still do one handed push ups. I mean, unbelievable. He could not just do one or two, he'd do four or five. You know, and he he was a bit he was a he was a really strapping dude, but as, just as nice as could be, and uh, it, it's always a pleasant to be around. Of course, he he was a neighbor of Lee Van Cleef. I don't know if you guys remember him from the old spaghetti westerns with uh, Doug uh, Clint Eastwood, and uh, that I never did meet Clint Eastwood, but I I did run into. Uh, uh, Van, Ke Van Cleef because he was a customer of uh, of uh, uh, Twentyman's, and so uh, they they bought gold and silver uh, through Twentyman. But uh, very nice guys, just as humble as could be. They lived on the same block in a regular neighborhood. Uh, you know, houses are about a hundred grand. You know, that's when everybody was. You know, that was when a house in Los Angeles only cost about 80000 So just a regular neighborhood, just regular type guys. Some of these other guys were just a little bit uh, – uh, but there was only one actor, actually. Actually, two. There were only two actors in all those years that I met. And I wasn't friends with many of them, but a few of them. There was only two of them that I would calc calculate as uh, uh, arrogant SOBs. One was uh, – uh, Robert Vaughn, you remember the man from Uncle? He was, and he was also in the Magnificent Seven. Oh no, M Maddox! No, he was Maddox was the greatest man. Uh, that's uh, that's Mike Michael Connors. His real name was Michael Hannon. and he was he was one of the best. The other guy was uh, uh, what was his name? The the Rifleman. Uh, uh, what's a rifleman's name? God, I can still see him driving his old Royce, but he was really, really arrogant. Chuck Connors. Chuck Connors. Thank you very much, Cindy. Chuck Connors. Yeah, but those two guys were just really head over heels in love with themselves, but uh, that the rest of them were all really pretty nice nursey, you know? That's it. Well, Ruby, you're not crazy you're buying oil. Or Ruzi, Ruby, you're buying oil at a discount, darling. Oil, Ruby, let me ask you a $64 question. Would you rather buy it at 77 or 74, what would you rather buy it at? Hmm, that's not a hard one to figure out. Uh, no, I never did meet uh, Raymond Burr ever, uh, that because that he was. I, by the time I got to Drexel, he was on the south side of the of the, of the room uh, the room there, so I never uh, never got to meet him. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So that's it. Hey, we've got to take a little break here. Pay a few bills. Eight seven seven. 9276648 Raymond Burr from Ironside that's correct we'll be right back wrong 
wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I don't hear the music yet, so evidently I'm still talking in front of the commercial. Yeah, there we go. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, you know, when I, when I talk about these, these movie stars or, you know, actors, a lot of them were just actors, not many of them were stars, you know, 99% of them I didn't know. I mean, I knew who they were. I passed them, you know, they were in the Drexel office sometimes. I'd see them on the street, in restaurants and other places. But, uh, you know, frankly, there, there was probably, you know, a couple of handfuls of, that I knew that I uh, – was, uh, you know, that I knew friendly, that I was friendly with. Some of them were pretty big stars, but, uh, you know, I didn't hang around with that group. I really didn't. You know, 21 was my group. You know, Jim and I worked there, and we went home, and we had, you know, I had a family and stuff, and Jim had some girlfriends. In fact, he had a lot of girlfriends. Anyway, that that's really the bottom line. So I know stories, and I've been to the track many times with these guys, and, and I've been to some of their parties and stuff, but those are just a few of the guys that I knew. Uh, and, you know, I have some great memories of all that stuff, but to, to think that I I knew all these people, not a chance in heck. That's why I reluctant to even, I used to have some wonderful pictures of all these people. But unfortunately, when I, um, 
got into the situation of going through a divorce, uh, they disappeared uh, in smoke, as a matter of fact. Anyway, let's uh, keep in mind, folks, that these markets are going to get extremely, uh, extremely volatile. As I've said a million times, if you're not using – look at look at crude oil today. If you didn't use a stop, we dropped $4 a, a barrel, folks. I mean, this is a major top in oil, no question about it. So you got to get ready for the next swing, and that's the, the key to – what we're paying attention to here. So just remind ourselves, this is really a bit. Are we going into a depression, uh, Mr. Peak? I don't know. Doesn't uh, we're, we're going to? It doesn't make any difference. It, it won't. It won't have to. The markets are still going to be here, and the Fed has our backs. They're not. You know, I I don't know. But I, I, all I'm looking at is short-term patterns, folks, that give me a little edge, and that's all I have. And I'm going to exploit that edge on July 28th when we do our full day trading. I hope we have a day like today on the full day of trading because we would make lots of bucks on today like today because this was a good day for trading when you're just looking at these patterns. So remember, folks, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.